So good, so we prepared our substrate cells, but remember we also have to prepare a protein extract. So you can either start from frozen cells in freezing medium and pallet them, or you can work with fresh cells and also make a cell pad. So you start with a cell pallet, or alternatively, if you're interested to work with tissues, working with tissues can be as easy. You just have to snap freeze them when you do the dissections, and then you can grind them under liquid nitrogen or well, a cool mortar, and then the grind aliquots can be used later on to prepare protein extracts. So after the liquid nitrogen stops bubbling, you take out the mortar. So first the cup, you put the frozen tissue inside. And then you take out the pustula. So with a hammer, we will smash once, twice. And then you can use the pustula to grind the tissue some more. Then you can use some pastulas that are put in the liquid nitrogen to make them ice cold to scoop out some frozen tissues and collect it in the tubes on dry ice. And you can repeat this until you have nicely divided the tissue over several tubes. The easiest for the repair assay is to collect about 30 to 50 milligrams per tube to make protein extracts later on. In case the spatula would catch too much humidity, you can either wipe it and put it back in the liquid nitrogen or you can take another uh, spatula I usually put a second spatula in the liquid nitrogen just in case as a backup. So after this we will clean the pastel and the mortar with some paper. The pastula you just wipe with the paper and when it's clean you can put it back into the liquid nitrogen in the box. And for the mortar you can turn it upside down to tap it to take out the powder of the tissue and then also wipe the inner part with some paper towel. And when everything is clean, you also put back the mortar in the liquid nitrogen for continuing with the next sample. So now we're going to show you how to extract proteins from uh, materials like cells or tissues. You can either work from frozen cells that have been frozen, for instance, with DMSO, but then you have to wash them and make a cell pallet, or you can use a starting material, a cell pallet, which is frozen as a cell pallet. And in parallel, we will show you also how to extract proteins from ground tissue. So first we're going to add buffer A. So it's best to prepare buffer A cold. And in parallel, you can also prepare upfront buffer A together with 1% of Triton. So we start off with the buffer A. We have a cell pallet of 5 million cells, to which we will add 50 microliters of this buffer A. We usually work with 30 milligrams of ground tissue. And to this 30 milligrams of tissue, you add 100 microliters of your buffer A. Both of them will be vortexed. And then we will snap freeze them by dropping them in liquid nitrogen. We leave them until it stops bubbling. And this is done to actually, yeah, the snap freezing will help break the cells because of the crystal formation. Okay, so when it stops bubbling, you take out the tubes and let them defrost. We add buffer A with Triton X. The Triton X is a detergent to help with uh, the lysis of the cells. 
to the aliquot of 50 microliters that we added on top of the cells, we will now add 15 microliters of buffer A with 1% triton. And to the tissue, since it's double the amount, so to the aliquot of 100 microliter, we will add 30 microliters of buffer A with 1% triton X. Both will be vortexed again. And now we will incubate this for 10 minutes on ice. So after centrifugation, all the debris of the cells and the tissue will have been palleted in the bottom of the tubes. So now we collect as much as supernatant as we can and put this in two new tubes. Keep the protein extracts on ice all the time. Now you can either immediately um, analyze the protein concentration or you could freeze these as aliquots and assess the protein concentration on the day of use.